Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna have a, uh, another daily dose of, of Dismal Disney, but we're also gonna talk about a potential dismal situation with Universal. So for those of you who think we're not fair, that we don't pick on Universal enough, uh, buckle up because if this is true, I don't think it's going to go very well. It's not going to fly well. I mean, I get why they're doing it. I just know this is not going to go over very well at all. No. So let's uh, talk about this. And we're going to talk about the utter state of Epcot. Uh, it's not looking too good, guys. No, nope, it's, <laughs> it's really not, not. Not looking too good. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Uh, you can check out Pirates and Princesses. You'll get a woo. You'll get a double woo hoo. You forgot to say woo hoo. I, I was I, waiting for it. So woo hoo, woo hoo. Who woo hoo to you? <laughs> That's the new. Well, is this revenge? Because I had a ray all weekend. No, it's because I was going to mention the podcast. People can oh, listen yes. to the Which podcast. We have to do an episode this week. We forgot. To do yeah, it we're going week. to. We're, we're reorganizing, reorganizing things over here at uh, Clownfish. But yeah, we're going to be doing more podcasts. So check out the website. Check out the podcast. Uh, let's let's uh, get into this article. You know what's going on more than okay. I do. Okay, so Mike over at Pirates and Princesses put this up today. Apparently, Attractions Magazine had uh, Universal sent out details regarding ticket information to third-party admission sellers for when the park opens. We're talking about Epic Universe, okay? It's going to open um, in 2025. Right. And there's a problem with it because what they're telling them is that you're not going to be allowed to have single day tickets for Epic Universe. And we're not even sure what's going to happen to annual pass holders. Um, it sounds like the only way you're going to get in is if you have multiple day tickets. Okay. And of those days, you're allowed to go there one time. So you're buying all these tickets to go there once. So here's the outline that Tractions Magazine claims was given to these people. Okay. okay. Initially... Universal Epic Universe products will launch with multi-day tickets for three or more days with a one-day limit to Universal Epic Universe for those planning vacations well in advance. Universal intends to expand product offerings to single and multi-day tickets, including Universal's Epic Universe, in a phased approach based on availability. But you're going to have to buy three-plus days of Universal tickets to go, and if you do, you're only allowed one day at Epic Universe of those three plus days. Oh, I don't think it's gonna go well. I don't think that's gonna go well. I mean, here's the thing: people are gonna pay it because they want to go to Epic Universe so bad, right? Yeah, and they know it. But this is a this is a very Disney esque move. And Epic Universe is gonna be. I mean, I know they're trying to limit it. But it's going to be so busy that you're going to need multiple days probably just to go to visit everything in Epic Universe. And they're limiting that. Um, they also are, not, are allowing park hopping um, in the Epic Universe right away either. I mean, the, OK, so the phased opening, th this is something that a lot of theme parks have been doing lately because I know this happened with Toy Story Land when they opened it at Disney World. Well, no, they're, not doing it, they're not doing it in phases. They're saying that it's going to be a phased uh, for, right. for tickets. You're not going to be able to do single and multi-day tickets until they're going to phase that in. Uh, right. But what, what they're doing is they're basically taking that to the next level, which is you have to buy a package. You have to buy multi-day mm -hmm. tickets. And one of those days, one of those days will be Epic Universe. Right. And if you only want to go to Epic Universe and you're like a local, we don't know what Animal Pass holders is going on with that. We don't know. Uh, they haven't specified. I guess they said that Attractions Magazine asked. I guess they didn't get an answer about it yet. But we know at least anybody who wants to go to Epic Universe and you're wanting to visit the park for that, you only can visit, according to this, if you buy three yeah. or more passes, like three or more days of passes. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, like, look, are people going to pay? Absolutely. But um, it's it's definitely, definitely a, a very Disney move. And I have to wonder if they're going down this route to recoup costs on this park what else are they going to do well i think that they're going to be like having a bunch of people book trips and they're going to going to stay longer so they're going to fill up the hotels yeah it's just like everything Disney. else because they have yeah. the hotel that's the um that's going to be the helios that's going to open right out into the the park and they're hoping to fill those up you know i mean most people are going to travel to florida to go to epic universe for more than one day right but like if you think you're going to epic universe for four days you got another thing 
Well, I have to wonder, coming. like, because the Helios Hotel is going to be really expensive. Yeah. So I'm wondering when they announce that open, I wonder if, well, oh, and if you stay at this hotel, you get two days at Epic Universe with your tickets or something like that to try to get people to pay the extra upcharge to stay there. Because it's going to be really expensive, I have a feeling. So other things Attraction Magazine said. Now, they said they did not, they don't mention, according to Mike, the attractions doesn't mention about what's going on with um, AP holders. But mm. it's interesting. He said visitors can mix and match other details among a suite of options, including which of the Universal other parks they'll visit, Universal Studios, Florida, Islands of Adventure, or Volcano Bay. Um, if they want to park, hop between those, they're allowed to, just not Epic Universe. For international tra- travelers, the new Explorer ticket will launch, granting access to 14 days at Universal's original non-Epic Universe parks and one day at the new park. The current version of the Explorer ticket without Epic Universe admission will still be available. Hmm. So you can get two weeks, but only one day of those two weeks. Yeah, I mean, look, the demand is going to be through the roof. I mean, uh, I get this, why right? they're doing yeah, it. And I think yeah. the crowds will be more managed this way. So I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing per se. I just don't think it's going to be a very popular... I, I don't think it's going to be... It's very not going to go well with people. Let's put it that way. I don't well, think people are going to be very happy about it. This is what they're, yeah, they're saying this at the travel agents. And they said, yeah, this is why we're doing it. Manage capacity by selling only date specific admission products. And then they talk about initially it's, you know, you have to do the multi day tickets. Number three, clear communication of the product entitlements during the sales flow. Uh, what is going to happen is people are going to buy those multi day tickets if it is not clearly spelled out by the travel agent that you only get to go to Epic Universe for one day, there's going to be hell to pay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People are going to be very mad. They're going to be like, I just wanted to go down so I could go see Mario for, you know. Three days. Three you days. Nope. Yeah. You have to spend, you have to buy at least three days worth of passes, but you only get to go to Epic Universe for one day. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of new things. You're having the Dark Universe, the new Wizarding World Harry Potter area. There's Burke. Uh, Burke I, um, there's Monsters. Uh, I mean, that's my, you know. Yeah, that's Universal my... Monsters, the main hub. That is that is what I'm actually looking forward more to the Universal Monster section than mm-hmm. I am, you know. So it was a Dark Universe, is that they're calling it? Mm-hmm. Uh, that looks amazing to me. But yeah, I mean, oh, it's your Mario Brothers area. I forgot about that. So there's five sections that are very big. Yeah, so you could spend theoretically, you could spend most of a day in one section doing everything because if if you want to go in, I mean, first of all, the lines are probably gonna be, you know long <laughs> so mm-hmm. so you've got to get onto the rides and then you're going to want to eat you're going to want to buy merch you're going to want to interact with whatever there is to interact with there and you might spend six or eight hours easy just in mario and nintendo mm-hmm. and then you know i mean what else you, then you go to burke and if you got kids especially it's going to be hard to see everything in one day so i don't think it's going to be terribly popular but again this this park is the demand for this park is going to be astronomical yeah, Disney should be crapping their pants especially I think they, with the way epcot's going yeah so let's let's segue into this um epcot <laughs> they ruined it like what did you do so they're saying according to and i've heard to several places that according to c-suite of disney epcot is basically in quotes finished even though some people were expecting that there could be an announcement about something with journey imagination yeah. it depends who you ask but the problem is, is everything they've delivered, except for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, which was amazing, but took way longer than it should have. And the, the Ratatouille, the new Remy's Ratatouille Adventure Ride. Most of everything else has been, you know, hit or miss, and it hasn't been that great, and a lot of it keeps breaking. Um, so what did they do for all these years in the spine area where they just basically pushed dirt around? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what people were saying. I mean, a lot of posts online. I mean, some of the most ardent Disney defenders – a lot of uh, influencers and personalities in and around the Disney space are turning on Disney mostly because of price gouging and Epcot, what they did to Epcot. Epcot mm-hmm. is a lot of people's favorite part. It was mine. I don't know now, but it was. Uh, and, you know, here's the giant vagina. I was going to say, they, they turned the, the, they added the World Celebration Gardens with the, the giant JJ in the middle, and they had lights around it. Um, they're not working, guys. This is from Blog Mickey. Yeah, they're not working already. You can see that the, we, within days of it opening, like I don't think it was even more than like a couple days out. It was. There's a vagina right there. There's what it looks like in the dark, guys. You can find it. Um, <laughs> she needs to shave. <laughs> I know. It's like that commercial where they, they were shaving the bushes. Um so, you know, they're not working and they were not working within days of opening, like a couple days of opening. It's been an ongoing issue. So that's one of the things. Um 
Yeah, there's some columns are having issues now, too, they said. During your water, it's working now, but it's been down a lot. There's been a lot of people saying different elements were shut down. There were signs up saying it's not working. This keeps happening. Okay, what the hell is going on at Disney? Because nothing is working right. We've got this. Because they're cheaping out, not fixing anything, and they're cutting corners. Yeah, Moana um, not working, and now we've got Tiana, Tiana and Moana not working, and they're going to announce more rides. I'm like, you need to fix what you've got. Well, here's the thing about this. Like the journey of water thing, while it, it's kind of cool, a nice place to cool down. I, I mean, the cool down and stuff. Why did it need to be there? IP. It didn't need to be there for any other reason. Nobody was asking for this. You were trying to shove Moana IP into it until you could get Moana shoved someplace else. Yeah. You know, it's like Moana too. Um, yeah, they're talking about the, the fact that they're saying about it's hot now. It's all concrete. I mean, Epcot always was a lot of concrete. Well, okay. So part of the renovation as I recall from the, the Blue Sky artwork in, was it 2016, 2017? 2017. It included more shade. It included more trees. They were going to mm -hmm. have that big festival pavilion. They were going to have a lot of shady areas with, with more trees. What happened to that? <laughs> they, they, they canceled it. And then <laughs> yeah, they they got this garden. The trees are the expensive. The lights don't work. The lights yeah. don't work. Trees are expensive. Like, they took the Mickey. They took the Mickey away. Yeah, to be fair, though, some of that stuff, I think, was just there for flower and garden, though. And, you know, I mean, to be fair. But they said, the people were talking in general, it was way more colorful. It's yeah. very colorful at night. But the park isn't open that much at night. I mean, as the, it gets closer to fall and winter, it's open more after, after dark. But it's not open a lot of hours at night. Most people are there during the day. So you need to look good during the day. And of course, you know, we, we've we got um, Communicore. A lot of people. I mentioned about that, that later on down the article about Communicore Hall. And it's very bland. And people <sighs> are not happy about it. Communicore Hall. And everybody says it looks like an airport. It's open again. Their reasoning from what I understand or what I think they're going to do is they're saying it's supposed to be used as a festival or event space. So they want it pretty much bare bones so that they can turn around and put stuff in it to make it lively for the festivals. Thing is, you have a lot of time where you're not having a festival. Yes. So you need to make sure that it looks good then, too. Like, people are coming then, too. You shouldn't be giving them this and saying, here you go. I mean, it should look better than this all the time. This looks like an airport. Well, that's what um, that's what uh, Orange Bird says. Original Orange Bird says, I'm not a purist at all, but as a realist, I have to say Epcot 3.0 is the worst iteration mm -hmm. of the park. They examined what they thought people liked about the aesthetic of the past and grossly misinterpreted it for the modern era. Epcot is now an office mall with rides. Plus, it doesn't help that in recent years, like last couple of years, that stuff Disney's been putting out seems like, and the one person that was behind a lot of that is gone now, but it seemed like it was more like a hotel coffee shop or a Marriott Hilton. or something yeah. and not a Disney something. Like everything that made it Disney, you took out. Well, like I, with the reimaginings of the hotels. Because I'm like, look, even though it's it's supposed to be a blank slate or whatever, you could have textured the walls. You could have projected cool stuff onto the walls. Or the floor. The floor. You could have had, you, you know. Even slats, you could put stuff up there. Yeah, you could have had, uh, you know, different, like, Disney designs or something really cool. Like, look at the Land Pavilion. Like, you know, the... It, it, it looks cool. It looks cool. The motif. Of, I mean, it looks dated, but it's like you, you could have done more with it than just. I mean, this looks like our garage. You know what's funny to me? Literally, it looks it's the same stuff that we have on the floor of our garage. It is. I noticed that. It's funny to me, though, because like they're trying to take we're going to take interventions and make it into something people want to go into. And they turn it into this. I'm like, I would argue that interventions and the original Communicore were far more interesting. So why did you change it then? I yeah. mean, I know you're going to put festival stuff in it eventually, but I, I guarantee you it's going to be cheap ass, whatever. And it's, at that point, why didn't you just keep it in eventions? Because at least then you had stuff that rotated out and exhibits. So there's something to do. Yeah, it was uh, in eventions. I mean, I again, this was this was a band aid over a, a gaping wound. They they tore down in eventions. They were going to build this like triple decker, amazing looking festival pavilion. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's really sad to see interventions go, but they're going to build something better. And this is this is the common theme I'm seeing with Disney with everything that they're doing right now is they're taking something that could be plussed and they're minusing it. Well, speaking of minusing, keep going down when we get to the Morocco fountain. So the other thing that everybody's mad about is the Morocco fountain. This is what it looks like now. There. Oh, yeah, there's my article. So there's before and there's after. Now, you know, these are one of the gardens that they have there, but they're like bragging about this. So this looks like bathroom tile from Costco. And then they had the original one. They had like 
the the king of Morocco had sent over artisans to do it. Now, Morocco, Disney took over the Morocco Pavilion, and they've just like mismanaged it right and left. But this is their this is one of the little garden areas they put in. They they have done the fountain in the same in the same look. Like, like you can even see the tiles not lined up. Oh my! Look God. how the blue the blue aren't they? Yeah, you can see it's, it's yeah. Uh huh. And this is this is what they did. All Let's right. Look at, look at that. If oh. you're OCD, don't go there. Oh my God! Yeah, I can I can see it. Just glancing at it, that would drive me nuts. I mean, you're gonna have drunk sitting on it anyway, so you're not gonna see it. But still, like, you look at the TLC that that went into the original version of Epcot. It was like Disney's crown jewel, and now it's just like, I just don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. I really don't. I mean, it's whoever's in charge. I mean, I don't know who the hell is in charge of Imagineer now, uh, but fire them. Go back <laughs> yeah. to my go back to my other article. It's funny. I have some quotes from people about this. If you go down to the very last one, um, I love this. They said, "Let's spend money to downgrade things." Current yeah. Disney execs. Where where is the money going? Is why because it's obviously not going into you know plussing things. Again, I don't mind. I mean, even with Splash Mountain, like I didn't mind them. Changing Splash Mountain, I thought was a dumb reason to change it. But if you're going to change it, then make the ride better. And the ride is worse. And I, I don't think Country Bears is going to be any better. I don't know. I saw either. the I, – I, I don't know. I saw the the characters. They had they put an article out today, and they showed them in their costumes. And they look pretty good. I don't know how the music is going to be, but the characters look good. The – um. The straw that breaks camel's back, though, is going to be the Haunted Mansion. If they ruin the Haunted <laughs> yeah, Mansion. They better not mess with the Haunted Mansion. Uh, not that, gonna go well. No, and then everybody's just going to go over to Universal. Even if they have to pay for three or four days, they'll go over and go to Dark Universe. And uh, where, you know, Disney is, or where, uh, I'm sorry, where Disney's afraid to scare you, Universal's leaning into it. And they're mm -hmm. like, yeah, we'll, we'll scare the hell out of you. Sure. Come yeah, over you here. Give us your money. We'll scare you. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, the only thing scary about Disney anymore is like the stuff they're pushing out and saying it's it's finished. And it's like, this isn't even working right. How are you even opening this? They keep rushing things and they don't fix things that need fixed. And, you know, it, it, like how long was the people mover down? Because they hadn't fixed it. And I understand yeah. parts are hard to get. I get that. But like you need to, to if you're going to do a new a ride, you're going to reskin the ride. You need to make sure the system works on the ride. That's just how it is. And maybe not take things that were, yeah, there's there's the fountain. Those are the little planter gardens, but they did the same thing to the fountain. It, so I guess my thing is like of all this, what, $17 billion or something they're saying they're going to spend, how much of it is them doing rework? How much they of it is They said a lot of it was going to repairs and upkeep. And, and they had that, they a lot of the money that they're probably counting in there, I don't know this, but that's probably what they were going to pay anyway. Just roll it into the amount and say, well, we spent what we said. You know, it costs yeah. us five million for upkeep or whatever it would be. Well, over the course of, you know, how many years did they say it was going to be? Uh, 10 years? 10 years. So yeah. that's so over the course of 10 years, 60 billion, you know, a year or six billion a year. Well, five billion of that is our upkeep. You know, I, it's 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 ridiculous. Yeah. It's yeah. not that high because they're not doing anything. Uh, but so, they just, whatever they can do cheap and they can just shit it out. So here's the thing. Actually, this this looks like a better value by comparison. Yeah. Anyway, like you know what I'm saying? Because at least you know Epic Universe, you're gonna get. I mean, unless the rides don't work on day one, which is possible. You know, it's very possible. But they've already had time to work the bugs out. At least in Nintendo in Japan and in California. But like, it, it might be worth paying for three or four days <laughs> just to, you know just to be able to get like a, a decent theme park experience like Disney and like, I don't even know what the hell they're doing anymore. I'm just worried universal is going to go down the same, same path. Right. Well, they've taken the Disney difference and made it mean something completely. Yeah. Different. Yeah. So let's uh, wrap this one up guys. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.